So hello, today we are checking whether Lucanus cervus from Turkey, the Lucanus cervus subspecies Occupationus, already laid eggs. I have two boxes, uh, one I will open here in the uh, English playlist for, to, for um, Lucanus cervus Occupationus and the other one I will present to you in German in the German playlist of Lucanus cervus Occupationus. So if you want to uh, see both of them you just have to change uh, the channel afterwards to see the other box uh, opening. Probably that's how I do it normally. I have these two um, separate channels because I know there are a lot of uh, people in Germany uh, listening and uh, watching and of course there are now a lot more people around the world. Uh, for them I present these videos in English. Hope you enjoy it and have a look at the, the different playlists I made practically for every species that I'm breeding I have my own playlist so where you can have a kind of a logbook to see what happens in steps of months or weeks uh, between the videos. So that's, let's go to the box. They were in here a pair since the 1st of April. Now today is the 23rd of July so that's around three and a half months ago and you see here the original setting of the box with a piece of a trunk of white rotten wood on top and here you see the female that is already dead on the substrate so now it's time to check it that's the female and um, if you look at her there is not such a big one so we will have a look and see whether she laid some eggs in in this box now let's see do you see there's a piece of an uh, oak leaf here that's nice for the surface of a terrarium where you want to breed them because they like um, to have the smell of their original uh, place where they live it's it's, a, it's trees of oak mostly around so and the, the the aromas in these leaves they probably remind them of the original habitat and now here he is this is the male it's not a very big one for occupations but it's a nice one it has nice mandibles and now he's sitting here on a little a piece of beetle jelly uh, he's very active now let's see whether we can take him under the under the camera here yeah here he is I have to touch him so that normally they have if you touch them on the pronotum they should sit still, that's what they say, but it's not always the case, so that's the male here. It's a nice one. It has big mandibles, long one, it's, it's not so wide, but it's, it's a long animal. So this is probably, let's have a look exactly how long it is. Now it's, it's a, a little bit more than 7 centimeters. Of course they can get up to 10 and then they are really strong looking guys but this is an elegant man he's not so big what I do with him I just take him and put him into this box with the fresh fruit so he can nibble on this rotten uh, apricot here and find some um, good, good, nice beetle jellies to feed on so this man is already living around five months or so if you go back in the playlist you will see when I first took them out of the pupil chambers and um, I kept them in a cool place I feed it them well so they are still vital and living now so I hope also if we find another female that we can uh, put him together with the other female and that they probably mate again so now this goes into the box and of course now the the thing is we want to see whether already something happened inside of the box and for that reason we have to dig out the substrate and to have a look what happened in there where we find signals of here's an egg now this I have to present it under the microscope but first I have to find um, something yeah, yeah it must be uh, you 
you always have so many things and you're able to tell that you hardly find the things that you really need <laughs> at the moment. So, what I need at the moment is a little plastic spoon to very carefully take out the egg that I found here. So, and then I try to put the egg on this little leaf so that you can see it exactly here. Well, you see that? That's the egg of Lucanus cervus occupationus. I have, of course, I have to put it back immediately now into a small box so that it's not drying out. That would be a danger. And also, in this case, I use this little 200 milliliter boxes where I make some holes and um, I put the egg inside of each of these holes so that they can it went off the spoon here Let's see. here's the hole now and there we put it in and then we cover it cover it with a little substrate and then of course add some water Well, that was an egg practically on the top of the substrate. That's unusual. So let's go and see whether if we go, if we take out these big chunks of wood that I put in, whether we find something on or in these pieces of wood here. Or we find some signs that the female deposited some eggs around the piece of wood here, so that would be nice to see if we have some traces, otherwise we have just to wait until the lorry, if they are in the block, have eaten up um, the block from inside and then we will of course see it later on uh, that there's something living inside the block because it disappears slightly from time to time after some more time if they are in a piece of wood looks like this so it's then completely eaten up by the larvae and that's the shape of the log after around two three months when there are a lot of larvae eating uh, inside of this uh, piece of wood so but i don't see nothing from outside at the moment so we just turn over the whole as you see on the bottom i have uh, I put some some um, clay. So let's look whether we see something in here. Could it could be that if the female has died too early, that she didn't mate with the with the male. That could be also the case. So, but one egg I we have seen on the top. So that could be a sign that there should be others or we haven't seen them yet because it didn't go through the substrate very good now this is typical white rotten piece of wood normally there should be lorries eating around these pieces of, of wood here's another egg so it seems that they are not yet another egg not yet out of Yes, here and also this one we put it back to the little reading and hatching box and take it carefully take it and then we put it into the hole here cover it with substrate so carefully so there's another one we make some more of these holes here to three, four, then we have around six at the end, so I hope of course we find some more eggs or some more evidence that something uh, has been going on in here, but of course this is a time consuming process to check through all of this substrate to look whether you find an egg 
all are larvae, but it seems that it's too early for larvae to see here because now we found, until now we found two eggs so we have to be very careful not to crush the eggs if we go through the substrate too fast and of course what I do now, if I don't find any more evidence of um, of larvae or eggs at the moment, yeah, here's another Here's another egg. Now you see it here on the, on the little on the spoon. Of so this one, we deposit into the little hole here. So I'll go back with it. So this. Is. So it seems that they um, haven't touched until now so it's probably better to just put all the substrate back to the box and then wait for another two months and then we also have time to see whether the the eggs that we have put into this small 200 milliliter box whether they have already uh, hatched and of course I'm very interested what's going on in this piece of wood could be that there are some lorry in here but we don't know it now at the moment so we just leave it inside here also this piece and also this small white rotten pieces so I just put them back to the original case and now I fill up with the old material do not press it then heavily because if there are some eggs in here you will crush them and you will lose your next generation if you don't pay attention uh, to the to the eggs that could be inside of the, yeah here's another one, you know, I've missed this is, they are easy to miss here in the substrate, you see that, it's very small, just white whitish point here, this one and of course I also, like the others, I missed the egg on the tip of the spoon that's it, so we just put it in here make a little hole to go down and then we cover it put some water over so we have already five eggs now probably if we take another second to have a look probably find another one then the box would be full with the six holes that I made if not no problem just put it back and wait same temp and oh here it is look I've seen it there's an egg somewhere here yeah here it is so it's like if you go for hunting mushrooms, you must uh, develop your eye um, to get uh, to see them very uh, fast if you're going going through the substrate so that you don't miss them. Here, or here it is. Now we go under the microscope to see it in detail. You see on the tip of the spoon the little egg here, and then there we go. So we have six eggs of Lucanus. Servus Occupationus until now, that's not so bad, but of course the female, they can lay up to 60 or so eggs, so of course we could also, uh, we could, we could guess there are more inside here, in this container, but as I already said, we have to wait for around two or three months, and then we just check whether we have some more evidence of, of living a lot of in here. Thanks for watching.